Hey YouTube, it's Manny. I just started setting up a Discord server for the Militia Gaming community. And since this community is geared towards gaming and specifically Ghost Recon Breakpoint and the Division 2 at times, I thought it'd be really cool to get any tweets from these gaming companies to automatically appear in the Discord server in a specific channel. In this video, I'll show you how to accomplish that with a website called Zapier. The link to the website is in the description. All right, so the first thing I did was I created a brand new Google user called Manny.test18. And then I created a Discord server that I could test with and muck around with and show you guys how to do it. So what you want to first do is create a new channel. We'll call it Tweets. Once it's created, select it. And in the top, you'll be able to see the actual channel ID. As I mentioned earlier, I created a throwaway account just to do this whole video. But now that I've done it, I actually think it's a good idea that you guys should do it as well. Create a Google account that you don't care about. This way you can create a Twitter account from that and a YouTube account. Use that to link to these third party websites so that you're not actually linking your real account. Keeps it a little more safe and secure that way. Now we're going to head over to the zapier.com website. The link is in the description below. We're gonna, first time here, so you're gonna connect your new Google account. Click the continue as, whoever you happen to be. We could just skip this. All right, so this is a, the main dashboard you appear at once you've created your account first. So just go up to the top and click apps. And in here, we're gonna look for the Twitter, which is right there on the main screen. Click Twitter. And now we're going to connect it. So now we have our Twitter app selected. Now we're going to choose the, tr the trigger event. There's tons of trigger events in here. You can search through all of them and look. Uh, the one we want, though, is basically user tweets, specific tweets from a user. So we're going to sign in with our Google Twitter account. We're going to connect it. This is what I'm talking about, possibly using a different account than your main account. So that way you're not linking your main account to uh, someone else's third party website. Now that's linked. We hit continue. And then this username is the username of the Twitter account that we want to grab the tweets from. So we head over to uh, Twitter and grab the exact username, copy it. Paste it inside the username section. Hit continue. Now we're going to test and review. If it works, you'll have three tweets probably right here. You can use the drop down arrow and you can verify that you are getting uh, real text. Let's go ahead and minimize this section and then hit done editing. So now we've linked the tweet, uh, Twitter account in. What we want to do now is add where we're gonna uh, send the information to. So type in Discord, select the app icon. Now we've got Discord. We need to choose an action. We're gonna send channel message because we actually wanna copy that tweet over to our channel. Now we're gonna sign into Discord. Same things we did before with Twitter, you know, basically all the basic sign in stuff. Once that's done, we signed in, continue. Now we're going to make our customized channel message. First thing we do is we pick which channel we're going to go to. So we pick tweets. Now, one thing to remember is that you could have multiple channels with the same name. So it's important to know the actual channel ID. And that's where we talked about this before up here. You'll have the last four digits of the channel ID. Make sure it matches the last four in the ones you pick. Now for the custom message, We'd like to mention a role so that way people are pinged when uh, a new tweet comes in. So the first thing we're gonna do is go back to our Discord server and create a new role. So we're gonna create a new role. We're gonna call ours Ghost because of Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And the only thing permission we're gonna have is allow anyone to mention this role. That's the only permission we want. We're gonna scroll down and turn off all the other permissions.
Now we come back to our Zapier page and we put at ghost for the role that we want to mention. And then we use this drop down on the right hand side and we select the actual URL to the tweet. Text to speech, we're going to say no. Now the bot name, it could be anything you want. It's not actually a real bot, it's just what it's going to name it. Since mine's the militia, we're going to call it Intel Officer. The bot icon is a URL to an image that will represent the icon of the bot. Since, once again, Intel Officer, I'm just going to grab one of my sub badges, the three month, which is a first lieutenant's bar. All right, once that's done, we hit continue and we're almost done. So now we're just going to run a little test. We're going to hit the test and review button to make sure that it can properly write to our Discord server. So now we're going to head back on over to our Discord server. So in here, we have our created tweet. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it didn't properly at mention this. And what I mean by that is if you watch me actually create this, you can see now it's actually tagged at mentioned for the ghost. So anyone with this um, role will know that, hey, boom, there's a new tweet in here where this didn't do it. I opened up a ticket with them and we'll see if that gets resolved. So once we know the tweet works and it gets sent to Discord, we come back over to Zapier website and let's name our Zap. We'll call it Twitter Ghost Recon. And then the last thing to do is actually turn our zap on. You can see it's ready, it's off. There's two places to turn it on. We'll turn it on down here. And now it's on. Head outside. We have Twitter to Discord. This is our home page. My zaps. Twitter to Discord. Twitter Ghost Recon. It's on. So now anytime Ghost Recon tweets anything, it'll automatically be written a message into our channel. All right. So. Our um, Zapier Zap is all set and is ready to run. But there's one last thing you want to do. Anytime you add a new bot, and we added a Zapier bot to our uh, Discord server, you want to go minimize the roles that it, uh, the permissions it has for its role. So we go into our server settings and go into roles, select Zapier. And if you'll notice, it has everything. I went and did some, some testing, and it only needs four roles for what we're using it for. Uh, no administrator. We're going to remove everything, right? And I'll show you what we're going to save of all of this. All right. No. All right. It needs webhooks. Basically what it would zap how zap Zapier does it is it's through webhooks. So we need webhooks. Doesn't need to read or see channels. And uh, it needs to send messages. We're not sending uh, text to speech messages so we're okay. It doesn't need to manage messages. It does need to embed links because we're sending that uh, Twitter uh, Twitter URL. No attaching files. Doesn't need to uh, do that mention everyone. We'll leave that in there because we may have that at some point of mentioning everyone. It doesn't need to use external emojis, no reactions, and this is all the voice permissions. We'll turn that off. Save your changes, scroll up, and you'll notice there's only four permissions. Webhooks, send messages, embed links, and mention everyone. Now, it's always a good idea to minimize the amount of permissions anybody has, especially bots. You don't know what could happen on the other side. All right. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button and also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also join us on Discord if you ever want to squad up. See the link in the description below. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.